emojis. Will, do you use them? You use emojis or what? I do. Kind of times. Do you work? Do you use emojis in a work situation? <laughs> uh, not really. Hey, man, no. don't lie. Yeah, if you uh, do it, you do it. Kirk, does he do it? He uses emojis in a work situation. <laughs> Kirk just verified. Uh, I didn't even know this. It was a World Emoji Day, I guess, yesterday. And in okay. celebration, Adobe, they released a 2019 emoji trend report, giving insight into the most popular emoji characters that people are using. I'm reading this via Mac Rumors. And can you guess, Will? Well, now you know because you found a page. The most popular emoji, the laughing face with the tears. Mm. So the heavy laughing. The heart is number two. And the kissing with the heart, the little smooch with the heart is number yeah. three. Yeah. But you can you can believe that. You can agree with that. No, no. Poop isn't even close. Not even close. You got to think, Kirk. People are using these in all kinds of circumstances, like all kinds of conversations. Now, as far as pairings, they also, within their survey, uh, they discuss pairings. And the top pairing is the heart eyes mm. and the smooch. So, oh, man, a lot of love out there. The second common pairing is the laughing with the tears, then the <laughs> tilted head laughing with the tears, and then third place, the heart, then the smooch. So among, what is it, emoji users, 62% said they use emoji to make conversations fun, while 42% said they better communicate their thoughts and feelings through emojis. Mm. Women were most likely to use the laughing cry face heart and the smooch. Men, on the other hand, favored the crying laughing face, a big smile, and the sad face with the single tear because uh. all those moody Batman type dudes out there. I don't think I've ever used the crying face with the single tear. I mean... What am I doing at that point? I'm telling you I'm sad. What am I doing? Am I moping around? I'm not sending that one out there. Just so you guys know, don't expect it anytime soon. They also did this cool thing, emojis associated with emotion. Of course, the loved ones are pretty obvious. Anger, surprise, all the way down the list. Love being number one, happiness two, sadness and anger falling in after that. Surprise, excitement, and so on. 81% uh, of emoji users believe that people who use emojis are friendlier and more approachable. 65% of emoji users said they were more comfortable expressing emotions via emoji than a phone call. You see that, guys? In the future, you don't even have your emote skills anymore. They're dead. They're gone because you're going to feel more comfortable not talking and sending cartoons to people about how you think you feel, though you're not even really sure because you're too busy typing out these cartoons all the time. So even you're confused. You're like, what if I put... That's why, you know what I like to do, Will? Well, you know my favorite emoji already. It's not even close to this list, yeah. which is the skull, by the way. But I like vague emojis that are open for interpretation where the person has to be like, I don't really know what he means. You know what I mean? I do it in my personal life all the time. Yeah. Oh, you want to get an emoji talk? How about I send you an emoji that makes no sense? How about I send you a dude who's swimming for no? How about I send you, you see what I'm doing there, Will? Yeah, it's a riddle. Yeah, it's like, so then you really want to know, guess what? We got to talk. Mm. We got to talk. We got to kick it old school using words, Will. Mm -hmm. You see that? Mm. Kirk, Kirk hates the skull. He doesn't know what to do with it when I send it to him. I'll, <laughs> I'll drop the skull in the slack all the time. <laughs> Skull can be good. Skull can be bad. Skull can be dead. It's unbelievable. Versatile emoji. All right. Now, when it comes to the workplace, 61% of people says they use emojis in a work context. So that would mean one of us would have to not. But I feel like everyone here has been guilty at a certain moment. Oh, I know Ryan does. I mean, that dude, that dude is heavy <laughs> on the emoji. Let me ask you something, Will. Can you overdo the emoji? Uh, no, I don't. I don't mind them. Yeah, uh, you're lying okay. right now. I definitely think you can overdo the emoji. Well, I mean, if it's a whole page. You can overdo the emoji. And you, it loses any kind of meaning. You get, <laughs> I think in one post, you get two emoji. Two emoji in a sure. post. Yeah, that's exactly. You go over that, man. And, 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 and all, you know what? Three if it's the same emoji. Mm -hmm. Like, I can hit you with three skulls. Okay. You yeah. see? Three. Of the same. It's because it's more of the same thing. It's you're just it's just a multiplier effect. But four is too much. Three is max. Three is max skull. Two two is interesting. 
One is powerful, still, on its own. Think about it, all right? Hit people with the skull emoji. See what happens in your life. Don't blame me for the outcome. Life will get more interesting, I'll tell you that, immediately. And don't go with these uh, top picks, ever. Nah, I'm, I'm guilty of all these picks as well. What can I say?